In this video, we're going to take a look at finding area in both regular and irregular objects. So the goal for this video is to find the area of irregular shapes by counting square units. And also, we may see some regular shapes within this video as well. So we're not going to worry about measurement, for example, meters, inches, yards, or anything like that. We're just going to find the area um, inside irregular shapes by looking at the square units inside these shapes. So what is area? To begin with, area is the number of square units needed to cover a surface or figure. Okay, you can see these different figures down here. Okay, so counting the squares or triangles inside each shape would give us the area of these shapes. Like I said, we're not worrying about measurement at all as far as centimeters or meters. We're just looking at square units inside these shapes. Okay, so to find the area inside a shape, what we're going to do in a graph like this or on a grid like this, what we'll do is just connect the dots and however many squares you create, that's, that represents a square unit. And anything that's a triangle actually represents a half of a square unit. So we'll connect, start connecting the dots. Try to draw these st straight as possible. Now you can see here, these represent, these two represent a half of a square unit. Continue to connect these dots. Now it's um, pretty easy to understand that this equals one square unit. And we can see the triangle here. My line is not very straight there. Triangle actually represents a half of a square unit. OK, pretty simple. Two halves equals one whole. OK, so both of these triangles down here represents one square unit as well. So now that we have all of our dots connected and everything here, we're going to start counting our square units okay, that are inside this irregular shape. So the easiest way to do this, what I like to do, I just start numbering them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can see I start with my square units first. I'll get to my triangles next. 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 whole square units inside this irregular shape. Now I'm going to look at my triangles. These are both a half down here. So that's one half. One half. So both of these combined equal 13. Once again, one half of a square unit. One half of a square unit. Both of these combined actually equal 14. Okay, so the square units inside this irregular shape would be 14 square units. Okay, and that would be my answer for the square units inside this irregular shape. Now we're going to look at another problem here. First of all, once again, we're going to start out by connecting all the dots okay, to make our um, either triangles or squares, either one. Okay, So we'll start connecting these here. Okay, so we've connected all the dots. Now it's time to count up all of the square units inside. So I always start out with my squares. So I'll have one, two, three. Okay, now this is a half of a square unit. This is a half of a square unit. So both of these together would give me four, my fourth one. This is a half right here. Okay, so what I have now is I have a total of four whole square units. One, two, three, my two halves together give me four. And then I add the other half to that. So that equals four and one half square units. So what I want you to do now is press pause on your video, get out the grid paper that I gave you, and I want you to draw this shape on your grid paper. 
and then we will complete this problem together. So I want you to press pause right now. Okay, so you should have drawn your irregular figure just like I have right up here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you with me connect these dots and see how many total square units are inside this irregular figure. So we'll start connecting our dots, creating squares. It's important to create squares as you connect your dots, and we're not going to create any other type of shape other than either a square or a triangle. So we'll continue connecting everything here. Okay, now that we have all of our dots connected and squares drawn, what we're going to do is count the number of square units inside this figure. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and finally sixteen. So I can say that there are 16 total square units inside this shape. So what I'll have you do now, just work along with me with this problem as well. Okay, so we'll start out by connecting all the dots either to make a square or a triangle. Okay, we're not going diagonal or anything like that. Okay, to create X's or, or whatever. We're just making squares or triangles. So We'll start connecting our dots. Try to make this as neat and organized as possible. And we're connecting these to either make squares or triangles. Okay. Now that we've connected all of our dots to either make squares or triangles, we're going to start counting all the square units inside this shape. Start out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember, I start out with my squares first 10, 11, 12, 13. This is one half, this is one half, so this equals 14. So I could say I have a total of 14 square units inside this irregular shape. Okay, so what I want you to do now is pause this video, and I want you to find all on your own the total amount of square units inside this irregular figure. So I want you to pause the video right now. Okay, so here's the answer to that problem. You can see I have 10 and 1 half square units that are inside this irregular shape. So that 10 and 1 half square units is the correct answer. So here's one more problem for you to do all by yourself. So I'm going to have you pause the video, complete this problem all by yourself, and when you are finished, I'll have you press play and I'll have the correct answer for you. So I will have you pause the video right now. Okay, so you can see the answer for this problem is 13 and 1 half square units. So that is the correct answer, 13 and 1 half square units. Okay, so this is how you find area inside an irregular object. So please come to me if you have any questions about this topic.